It's good to see you. You well? I am, I am well, yeah. How are you? No, all right. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Yours was a really, really good entry. A great entry, in fact. So much so, I'm really pleased to say you are a winner of the RSL Giles St. Torbin Award for Non-Fiction with a prize of £5,000. Oh my God, wow. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. All, yeah, yeah. All the judges thought your work was outstanding. Fascinating, original. None of us had heard of phages, phages of all things, viruses that infect and kill bacteria. And, you know, and it's a timely work as well, given fears over antibiotic resistance well written full of drama cold war intrigue you know and a, a technique adopted in the soviet union and not in the west except mm. belgium <laughs> yeah. Yeah, very very i mean just tell us what what winning this award means to you well i mean it's um it's going to be really helpful actually because the the week that i signed the contract for the book uh my first daughter was born so <laughs> I've had a really tough year, actually, um, oh. juggling both uh, with lockdowns and, um, yeah, an extra bit of uh, award money is just going to be amazing, really. It's going to help uh, me maybe get some more childcare, do some um, more extensive uh, research trips to these far-flung places that actually use viruses to treat people, uh, Tbilisi in Georgia, Moscow, perhaps. Uh, the not so exotic trip to Belgium, uh, the west coast of the US, which is, uh, uh, there's lots of phage companies uh, starting up over there as well. So yeah, unbelievably good news and uh, hopefully will help make the book um, uh, even better than I hope it is already. <laughs> 